there YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making a venison lasagna. The ingredients that we'll be using are as follows. We're going to be using freshly made pasta. If you'd like to know how to make it, I've left a link in the description below. Um, so you can have a look at that. 400 grams of venison minced meat. A whole onion, which we'll chop finely. A whole carrot, which we'll grate finely. Five cloves of garlic, some tomato paste, I'll use about half a packet. A cup and a half of my Napoli sauce, I've also left a link for this below. Tablespoon of coriander, tablespoon of cumin seeds, half a teaspoon of paprika. And I will be spicing it up with some of my homemade jalapeno and roasted pepper sauce. There's a link for that as well. Oh, hey, pow. So that'll be the mince. For the bechamel sauce, we'll be using two tablespoons of flour and 150 mils of milk. To that, we'll add some nutmeg and we'll top it off with some grated cheese. All right, so let's dive into it and make some lasagna. Let's start by chopping the onion and grating the carrot. So we're going to start off by frying off the mints. Uh, avoid cooking them. You want to just fry them and give it that nice brown color. We're going to be dry frying them. So no additional oil. We'll use the rendered fat from the mints. Three minutes later, and give it a flip. After its first flip, let's crack some salt and black pepper over it. As it's grilling off on the second side and achieving that color, let's break it down now into smaller pieces. This is the color that you want to achieve. Know what I mean? Just before removing from the heat, add a dash of paprika. Mm. Phase two, splash of olive oil. We're gonna roast off our seeds and then we're gonna add the onion and braise that off. Add the garlic. Followed by the carrots. Return the mince back into the pot or pan. Napoli sauce goes in. One heaped tablespoon of the kicker. Half a packet of tomato paste. And 300 mils of water. Mix well. Let it simmer for about 10 minutes. To make the basha mussels, all you're gonna do is add one heaped tablespoon of butter into a pot. Let that melt over low heat. Directly after the butter melts, add the tablespoon of flour and whisk. And in goes the milk. Bring
Bring the heat up one notch higher. Whisking continuously so that it doesn't stick to the bottom or create lumps. As soon as you see the first bubble, that means we've reached the temperature that we want. Switch off the oven. And at this stage, we'll grate in our nutmeg. You can set it aside now. Once you've rolled out all your pasta, you wanna basically just blanch it in boiling water. Because it's fresh, it cooks a lot quicker. So you're looking at about two minutes to three minutes max to achieve an al dente pasta. All right, so all you wanna do is cut the sizing that you'll be using. And pop it into salted water. Two minutes and we remove it. And when you remove it, put it into cold water so it doesn't carry on cooking. Since we're making lasagna and we're gonna cook it even more, I'm gonna only cook it for one minute. only a few at a time so that they don't stick to each other. We have reached the exciting time of assembling the lasagna. We're going to do a three-layered stacking. We'll start with the sheets, mince sheets, as follows. Overlap it slightly just so that it creates a bit of a seal. How's that mince? It's good. We just made it with a pasta. In with a bechamel sauce. Give it some love with the cheese, baby. Sprinkle of nutmeg. I have preheated my oven to 200 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna bake the lasagna for half an hour. In it goes. And there you have it. Venison lasagna. Looking good! Well, there we have it. Lasagna ready for consumption. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.